Good evening. The Lloydminster RCMP need your help in locating the persons responsible for thefts from the Leisure Centre change rooms and parking lot. On June 22, 2013, a man entered the change room taking a car key, a small amount of change and a jacket. About the same time, another vehicle was, was entered and items taken. Then on June 28, a wallet was taken from a vehicle in the parking lot. One of the credit cards taken from the wallet was used at a local business. RCMP have released this picture of the man who was alleged to have used the credit card. If you have information about this or any other crime, please contact Lloydminster RCMP at 306-825-6350 or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS. Men and women put on their best high heels as they took over the sidewalks of downtown Lloydminster. It was part of the first ever Walk a Mile in Her Shoes event in the border city, with all money raised going to support programs at the local sexual assault center. Bart Pedjasic reports. It was a sight to see as almost 200 high-heeled walkers made the trip from the route to City Hall. And for some border city men, it was easier said than done. A little hard on rough sidewalks, but other than that, it wasn't too bad. At first, it started, uh, the legs were hurting, but uh, after a while, it wasn't that bad. Hell. And from hard hats to horns, teams really got into the spirit of the walk. The premise was around pretty much my husband as well as the other guys that are walking with us that are kind of fairly what you'd call manly men and my husband's a biker so the saying the hell on wheels I kind of just switched it to hell on heels. Leslie Graham understands the importance of supporting a walk just like this and says she and many of her friends have seen some kind of assault or abuse at some point in their lives. I think it's very important for not just young kids but us older ones that are moms, that are supporters for other young women, that we can explain to them what's happened in our lives and maybe support them to give them a voice of their own. We do have a sexual assault center here and unfortunately not a lot of people know that we exist. So this was a really great way to not only build that awareness for ourselves as an agency, but also to build that awareness for those affected by sexual violence. It does happen in Lloydminster. Heather Bain says this center has been planning this walk since last year and is ecstatic with the turnout. And at the end of the day, more than $50,000 was raised for their programs. We doubled our goal for the first time event. I, I couldn't even put it into words how it feels. And I'm very proud of everybody that's come out here today because it shows a lot. I, I think it really surprised the entire community that there is this much support here. <laughs> Bart Pidiasic, Newcap News. The Border City is rocking this weekend. Music fans of all ages are making their way to Lloyd X Grounds for a festival never seen before in this city. Anna Kanafate has an update on Rock the Border. I came out because I'm really excited to see some of the bands. i um, really looking forward to TFK tomorrow night. Um, hearing some new bands, I'm not familiar with a lot of them, but it'll be a good time. The headliner band Thousand Foot Crutch and Project 86 came a long way to play in the border city. We hope they get the positive message behind it and the bands are willing to travel up from Arkansas and California and to come up here and do a show right here in, this, in town where they would be considered a small town and uh, generally small towns don't get large bands coming in. Joshua Lavely is excited to get his fill of rock music. Emory is kind of like post-hardcore uh, they've evolved a lot over the years, but Project 86 is pretty much just heavy, I don't know how to describe it. And the music wasn't the only entertainment drawing people to the stage. We're going to do some big illusions, some crazy stuff. Uh, we're going to put eight flaming spikes through a girl. Oh yeah, you got to come see it. The event is targeted toward youth, but families were also welcome. Carrie Mace brought her son and is happy to see a positive event like this taking place. There isn't a lot of um, things for youth to do in the town, so this is a great facility for people to get their friends out and, and come and hang out and have some great entertainment. The event goes until 10 p.m. tonight and tickets are still available at the door. For more information, visit the website at rocktheborder.ca. Anna Canotfate, Newcap News.